Hey guys, Log.Zip here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Tweaks. Uh, this tweak today focuses not on the actual game itself, but the user interface of it. And I'm going to show you how you can change your Minecraft user interface from this to this. Now, this uh, user overhaul interface is brought to you by VoidZM uh, over at the Minecraft forums, and what it basically does is it changes the graphical user interface of your Minecraft menus, makes it gives a nice little uh, modern feel almost, a bit of transparency effects, and uh, it's it's pretty consistent throughout the majority of your Minecraft uh, user uh, interfaces. Uh, a few things that does not work um, I will get into in a bit here and we will also get into a few other uh, options you can do such as customizing the background images that show up right here because for now you're stuck with the stock ones but I will give you some details on how you can change them yourself. So let's get over to the actual installation itself. Alright so let's get to the installation itself. Uh, the process is easy enough. Uh, what I've gone ahead and done is put the link to the thread containing the overhaul uh, mod in the video description so go ahead and click that and then you can follow along with the video as we go. So it will take you to the thread itself by VoidZM as I explained and then what you're going to want to do is go to the installation section uh, expand that, click the little show button, and then you can go ahead and download it from right here. It'll take you to the download page, which is on Mega. Um, hopefully that doesn't get shut down like it did last time. So then from there you can go ahead and download. Uh, wait for the download to finish, and it will show up wherever you set your downloads to be. In my case, it shows up right on the desktop. Keep going to keep that. So we, uh, we're done with browsers from this point. Now you're going to want to open up your uh, computer to an explorer. Navigate over to your Minecraft folder, which will be at C, Users, Your Username, App Data Roaming, and then .Minecraft. Now once you're to that spot, uh, this is where you need to make sure you already have Forge installed. Uh, if you do not have Forge installed, there are various tutorials on YouTube. I may make one if some of you guys request it of me. But for now, just look one up yourself. Now once you have Forge installed, you will want to find the folder that says Core Mods. And then from there, it's as easy as just dragging in the Nova menu. And then uh, just to show you that it works, let's start up our Minecraft. Um, make sure we blur that out. <laughs> so then it goes through all its loading. And I use this to size my Minecraft better. It actually works quite well doing that. So now you can see that the uh, UI the UI has been completely overhauled. Now we will take it back to the other clip we made. Alright, so now that we have the mod installed, we can go through some of the finer aspects of the GUI itself. Uh, now as I've uh, explained, uh, most of the aspects of every single uh, menu have been themed. Uh, we can go through each of these and you'll see that most of them share the transparent effect. Uh, there are a few exceptions to this, and let me go ahead and jump into one of these worlds so I can give you some. So the loading world, you briefly notice, has the old dirt, and I don't know if that's just a choice of the uh, uh, theme maker himself, or if that's just an oversight, or you know something to be considered is the fact that this is a work in progress. It's going to be part of a much larger overhaul of, uh, from what I understand, close to everything involved with the uh, Minecraft game. So we will go into our menu. It's got this nice left overlay effect, so you can you can uh, get a better look at what your uh, character was just peering at when you press uh, pause. Now, one thing it is not compatible with completely yet, and the uh, theme maker himself has said he was working on this, is Optifine settings. So when you go into video settings, you'll notice that it all goes back to how it normally looks. Um, especially when you go into the specific uh, texture, animation, quality, menus, and all that jazz. So that part has not yet been themed, um, but ev uh, close to everything else, um, again, this is missing it as well, but I don't know if that was intentional or not. But for the most part, um, most most things like the statistics, general blocks, items, they're all themed, they've all got the transparency going on. And uh, beyond that, it's um, that's all the uh, theme itself really does. Now we can get into some of the more fine aspects of changing the backgrounds you see here. So let's uh, jump back over to a different recording I've made to show you how to do that. Alright, so now that we are back in this main screen area and you can see my full screen, let me show you guys how you can take any images you want, well, I mean within reason, and change the background that shows up right here. So. Uh, we're going to do this live so you know it actually works. So uh, you can press the escape button when you're on the main menu to cycle through all the various different images. It might take a while to get all six, but as you can see, these are the stock images that come with this user interface. So what we're going to do is we're going to close out of Minecraft, 
head back to the dot minecraft folder go into core mods now for this you're gonna need something you're gonna need winrar or something comparable uh, double click go ahead and enter into the jar file in order so you can navigate it um, and then go to mods Nova menu textures GUI and here is where all the backgrounds are that you uh, will find that we just viewed now you can replace these and it's it's easy enough to do I've went ahead and chosen a few images to replace with um, and uh, you can replace even the Minecraft logo so what we'll do is I've got three four and five right here we will go ahead and delete three four and five from the uh, jar file itself and we'll also delete the Minecraft one we'll go ahead and drag these back in go ahead and press OK now when we go back and load up Minecraft which we will do right now get our sizer going again because I like I like the bigger size now you'll be able to see it has changed so the logo has changed right here and when we press escape to cycle through you will see the new images that I added now obviously the blurry ones uh, the those images were originally blurred the uh, user interface uh, change itself doesn't blur them you'll have to do that manually in an image editor so you might need a, a basic photo video picture editing knowledge in order to do that um, as far as I've tested it does not work with animated images when I tried to put an animated image as a background it did not work uh, obviously you might be able to edit some class files but for people with just basic knowledge uh, and who want to adhere to this tutorial you're not going to be able to use animated images and you have to use PNG images uh, that should be easy enough to do you can save those in paint or in Vegas or whatever images you find online and uh, yeah, that's uh, that's basically all there is to it when it comes to changing images. And as I've shown you the rest of the uh, aspects of this mod, or tweak, excuse me, I can uh, pretty much wrap up the video by saying that's about it. Um, if you found this informative or helpful in any way, I'd appreciate it if you left a rating. And if you're new to the channel, I do suggest you subscribe. I will be making more and more Minecraft videos all the time, so please join me along. Uh, that being said, I'm Log.Zip, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.